Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. We'll proceed with our tutorial today, focusing on animating the side menu that we initially crafted in the first lesson of this guide. Let's duplicate the logo and relocate it to the lower right corner of the frame. This is where I'd like it to appear during the animation. style backdrop for the left sliding side menu, activated by the rocket button. For a tutorial on creating this glass effect in Figma, check out my channel with the link in the top right corner. verify if your frame has the clip content feature enabled. If it does, you should hide this background element to the left side of the frame as it should only become visible after clicking the button when the side menu opens. Conceal the logo as well. Duplicate the frame and assign it a distinct name. Then, proceed to hide the slider and arrow elements since we don't require them on the screen when the menu is open. button to the right to ensure it doesn't overlap with the menu. Switch to the outlines mode to enhance visibility of hidden objects, making it easier to transfer them to the visible part of the frame. To resolve this issue, select the rectangle and arrange it beneath the menu items to ensure it doesn't display on top of them. Rotate the rocket by 90 degrees. Let's also retrieve and display the logo that we had hidden earlier. In the prototype, navigate to the first frame, click on the button element, and draw an arrow leading to the second frame. Configure Smart Animate for the animation transition. Repeat the process for the button on the second frame. This ensures that the animation works smoothly in both directions. Now, let's establish the animation for the entire frame when any of the menu items are clicked. We have a total of 8 menu items, which means we'll require 8 additional frames for the animation. In each frame, we will have a different picture as the background. Let's add a new background to the frame we've just created. All the same for other frames.
Returning to the first frame, let's begin the prototyping process. Choose the first menu item and drag the arrow to the second frame. the same settings for the other menu items. The second item should link to frame 1.2, the third item to frame 1.3, and so on, maintaining a consistent pattern. We'll configure the menu in the same manner, but we'll skip the menu item that corresponds to the current page because it's already selected, and we don't need to apply animation to it. Certainly, for clarity, it's perfectly fine to configure each frame separately, ensuring that the menu item corresponding to the current page is excluded from the animation. This approach can help avoid any confusion during the setup process. Within the menu items, I've chosen the following method, we will shift the selected menu item slightly, perhaps by a few pixels, and incorporate a subtle arrow element to highlight it. We will follow the same process for the other frames as well. step is to add information about each page, and I source this information from the official SpaceX website. <laughs>